Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can create the project roles in Jira and then what is the relevance of project role, what is the difference between project roles and groups, etc. And then how you can associate that project role with some of the permission schemes and some of the permissions within that permission scheme. So I'll walk you through the actual practical scenario that might happen. So for example, you're working in a project and you're working as a project lead or a scrum master. And in your organization, as soon as the Jira administrator creates the project and he assigns you as the project administrator, you should be able to do the, all the project administration tasks. Unless and until this role has been defined or a specific role has been defined or you have been added into the project um, admin permission, then you won't be able to do this. So I'll show you, I'll go through one of the scheme, I'll go to uh, the administration section and go to the issues. Now, once I am in the issues, I'll go to the permission schemes. Now, open. let's open this new software permission scheme. And here we have administer projects permission, right? And the extended project administration permission is also turned on. But this is granted by default only to the administrator so project role is administrator so what you have to do is you have to either add yourself or add the people in the administrators um, role or the group only then they'll be um, able to administer the project or the other way is to create a separate role and then associate users so depending on uh, who is project administrator for a particular project you just associate users in that particular role now now let's go back and create a project role so we'll just try the shortcut project roles and you have you need to be project administrator you need to be uh, sorry jira administrator to create the project role so i'm in the system at the moment and i'll say um, project administrator as the project role and then description i'll just put the same and then click on add project role now before we move further we'll just um, walk a brief or uh, we'll cover a brief on what is the difference between the project role and the groups so they are somewhat you know similar project role is somewhat similar to groups the difference is group membership is global and only jira administration uh, administrator can uh, edit that however project role membership is project specific and project admin can add or remove the members from the uh, project role so now project administrator we have created the role uh, project administrator here now if you go to the manage default members at the moment there are no default members you can create the default member or click on view usage to see that this is not associated with any of the permission scheme at the moment right so what I'll do is I'll go back to the permission scheme so to go back to the permission scheme I'll go to the issues again and click on permission scheme and then there are two projects associated with this new software permission scheme I'll click on this permission scheme and click on the edit and then I'll say granted to the project role and click on the project role uh, drop down here and then select the project administrator and then grant that permission to the project administrator along with the administrator's permission now any member that has been uh, added to the project administrator role in the project will 
have the administer projects permission and extended uh, project administration permission because that checkbox is checked at the moment so what how this helps is so for example you have um, 10 different projects and there will be different people uh, administering those projects so there will be different project leads now with this role you can have different members added in each project uh, project role so whosoever is responsible for administering project or whosoever is the project lead for that particular uh, project will be added in this project administrator role and he'll get the access now let's go back to the rcv academy online portal project and click on the users and roles so at the moment here you can see that i have the administrators role and developers role at the moment for this particular project and Jay Guyan is the project lead however Jay, since Jay Guyan is not part of the administrators role um, he won't be able to administer project or this particular project so what we need to do is because we have seen in uh, the scheme that administer project is only available to administrators and the new role that we created so we need to add the project lead to the new role that we created administer project so i'll just say jqn and then add him to the project administrator role and with this addition jqn will be able to administer project now let's log off as an administrator and then I'll log in as JQN and show you that he should be able to administer the project now. So once he's logged in, we'll go to the project, Civic Academy Online Portal. And in the left hand side, you can see that project settings cogwheel is available. And that means that he is able to go to the project settings and administer the project. So there will be uh, project settings options available. So here you can see that he can see all the project related settings here. You can see the issue type, workflow, screens, versions, etc. Users and roles and the permissions as well so there are some uh, permissions some uh, configuration options available to jguan that he can do on this particular project in the right hand side you can see this cog wheel which says jira administration projects and it just shows that he can only administer the projects now if we log off and log in again as the Jira administrator, now if you go to the project, so at the moment RCV Academy Online Portal project is already selected. We'll go to the project and then remove JQN from the role and then see how it impacts the project administration permission so we'll go to the users and roles and because we added the role project administrator and then added jguan to the role and because jguan is the project administrator role member he is able to administer the project so if we delete him now from the particular role and log off as administrator and then log in back again as JQN. Then now you can see there is no cog wheel available here and in the left hand side as well. So if I go to the RCV Academy project, you can see there is no project administration cog wheel available for JQN to administer the project. So that shows that 
if you are not a member or if you do not have the permission to administer project in the permission scheme you won't be able to administer projects in Jira so let's log in back as the administrator and go to the permission scheme again and understand a little bit more on that so I'm, I'm logged back in I'll go to the issues and open the same permission scheme that we discussed so I'll open the permission scheme again and this is the permission scheme that we changed so what we did is we added the project role project administrator and then because this any one part of this particular role in a project will be able to administer projects and that's what we did in this short demo that we added this role in the project and added jqn to this particular role so that's pretty much all about how you can add the role and then how this particular role can be utilized in different projects to associate or to allocate the permission or give project permission uh, to the particular uh, users in your projects thank you very much for watching please do share and subscribe